I was raised in a country where opportunities are not very likely. They're hard to have. And that to be a family, to have opportunities as a family, and to be together, we migrated. That's it, Mama. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama, you're gonna read third chapter. Yes, Mama, well, I did. See, that's the fourth chapter. I feel like there's so many opportunities out there, and every, or so many of them, close their doors on me because I don't have a social security number. And that sometimes it's frustrating and scary because it's not just caring for myself, caring for my child, it's, it's a big responsibility. 12th station, Jesus dies. Welcome to immigrants. In the past 10 years, about 4,000 people have died attempting to enter the United States in order to support their families in Mexico and in Central America. As people of faith, we must work to stop... I'm hearing of families being separated, parents being sent to Mexico and having to leave their children here. It's pretty harsh to hear, to hear that. For me, it's hard to think that I would be separated from a child. And I think it, it would be for every mother. And my heart goes out there to the parents and to the children, both the ones, the children who are here without their parents, the parents who are there without their children, and the children that are courageous to go to a country they haven't been in, they haven't be, been brought up to be with their parents. I don't know enough about the country that I was born to say, to plan a future there with my, just by myself or with my daughter or my family who are going to be here as citizens and residents. I can only hope that it doesn't happen and that if it does that um, that I have friends that and family that will be there for my daughter and I.